A VLOOKUP allows you to search for a specific value in a table and return a corresponding value from another table. The VLOOKUP formula contains four arguments. The search value, the lookup table, the column number, and the match type. Let's take a look at each argument. The first is the search value. This is the value we want to search for in the lookup table. The search value must be in the first column of the lookup table. The next argument is the lookup table. The lookup table is the cell range in which to search. It contains both the search value in the leftmost column and the return value. The third argument is the column number. This is a number representing the position of the column in the lookup table that contains the value to return, with the leftmost column of the lookup table at position 1. The last argument is the match type. The default match type is true. True gives an approximate match of the search value, whereas false looks for an exact match. Since we want to get an exact match of our search value, we will select false. Let's walk through an example. I have an order sheet that lists the item names and quantities of the items ordered and want to look up the quantities in stock for each item. The quantity in stock is located in a separate sheet named inventory. In this inventory sheet, the item names are contained in the second column. The quantities in stock are contained two columns to the right. Let's walk through the formula needed to complete this VLOOKUP. In the order sheet, click on the first row of the quantity in stock column. Begin by typing the equal sign. Please note, all formulas begin with an equal sign. Next type, V, lookup. You will see a list of suggested formulas as you type. Click on the V lookup box that appears. The formula line will now show equal sign, V lookup, followed by parenthesis. You will also see instructions on how to complete the formula. As we discussed earlier, the arguments for the VLOOKUP include the search value, the lookup table, the column number, and match type. Now we want to enter the search value. The search value in this example will be the item name. Click on the first row of the item name column. You will see the search value is now listed as item name at row. We will now type in a comma to move to the next argument. As we previously discussed, a comma is used to separate each argument in the formula line. The next argument is the lookup table. In this example, the lookup table is located in a separate sheet named Inventory. To reference another sheet we will click the Reference Another Sheet link. After clicking the Reference Another Sheet link, a pop-up window will appear that shows all available sheets on the left. We will locate the sheet we want to reference in this lookup table. In our example, we want to reference the inventory sheet. Click on the sheet named, Inventory. On the right side of the pop-up window you will see the columns available to reference. Please note, the search value must be in the first column of the lookup table. In our example, we want to reference the item name. The item name is located in the second column on the inventory sheet. The return value we want to locate is the quantity in stock. This is located two columns to the right of the item name. Click on the header of the column containing the item name, our search value. While holding the shift key down, click on the column containing the quantity in stock, our return value. We now have the three columns of our lookup table highlighted. The sheet reference name is automatically named. You can change the name of this reference if you would like. In this example, we will leave it as Inventory Range 1. Click the blue Insert Reference button on the bottom right to return to the formula bar. Our formula now reads equal V lookup item name at row Inventory Range 1. Place your cursor between the end brace and end bracket to the right of the formula. We will now enter a comma to move to the next argument, the column number. The column number is the position of the column in our lookup table relative to the search value. The search value is always column 1 of the lookup table. In our example, the quantity in stock, the return value, 
is located in column 3 of our lookup table so we will enter 3 for our column number. Enter a comma to move to the fourth and final argument, the match type. The match type is either true or false, with true being the default. True looks for an approximate match of your search in the lookup table, whereas false returns an exact match. Since we want an exact match of the item name in our example, we will enter false. The formula now reads, equal, v, lookup, item name at row, inventory range 1, 3, false. With each argument separated by a comma. Press the enter key to finalize the formula. The quantity in stock now shows 7 for item A. We will want to copy the formula to the rest of the cells in this column. Click on the first row of the quantity in stock column and hit Ctrl, C, to copy the formula. Now scroll down and while holding the shift key down, click on the bottom row of the quantity in stock column and press Ctrl, V, to paste the formula. The quantity in stock for each item has now been updated. You will notice the quantity in stock for item E returned an error value of, no match. This means that the item name was not found in the lookup table. To fix this, we will add the, if error, formula to the VLOOKUP. To do this, click on your formula and insert your cursor after the equal sign. Type in if error followed by a parenthesis. Now move to the end of your formula and put your cursor after the end parenthesis and begin by typing a comma to add a new argument. We can now type in the value we want to return if the search value is not found. In this example, we want the formula to return a value of not found in inventory if the search value is not found. Start by typing a quotation, followed by not found in inventory quotation mark. Any custom return value needs to begin and end with quotation marks. Copy and paste the new formula. You will now see that the no match error message is replaced by not found in inventory. Here is the final formula. We hope this helped you utilize the VLOOKUP function in Smartsheet. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, SmartLink Basics, for more helpful tips.